Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. In this video, I'll show you how to host your Angular website for free using Firebase. Firebase is a platform that's backed up by Google which provides backend services to help us build and launch web and mobile applications. Some of the services it provides are database management, authentication, and hosting. If we take a look at the pricing, there are two plans, free and blaze. Firebase can host most websites for free without any cost. It will give us two custom domains that's SSL verified, so we do not need to worry about the backend stuff. And if you want to use your own domain, it is really easy to connect it with Firebase. To begin, you need to have a Google account ready. If you do not have one, go to google.com and sign up. Once you have your Google account, go to firebase.google.com and sign in. Then go to the console. Click on the Go to Console button. Create a project for your Angular website. Click on Create a Project and enter your project name. Keep in mind that you should use a unique name, otherwise the free domains that you get from Firebase will end up with random characters at the end of it. Accept the agreement and continue. Enable Google Analytics and continue. Continue accepting the agreement and create the project. This is your project console. If you take a look at the bottom left, you should be using the Spark plan, which is the free one. To upgrade it later on, click on the Upgrade button and enroll in the Blaze plan. To host our website, create a web app. Click on the web icon, give the app a name, and enable Firebase hosting for the app. Since we're using Angular, we can skip the Add Firebase SDK step. For step 3, click on the Copy icon, open the Command Prompt or Terminal, paste the code in the Terminal window and execute the command. Once you have the Firebase tools installed on your computer, click Next and continue to the console. To host the Angular website, we have to build and compile the project first. Open your Angular project on Visual Studio Code and open the terminal window. Press the Ctrl and tilde keys. Execute the ng build command with the prod flag to indicate that we want to build using the production environment. Once the command finished, it will generate a disk directory with our compiled project files. Go into it by right-clicking on the disk directory and select the Review and File Explorer option. Next, open the command prompt or terminal that points to the path for this directory. On Windows, click on the address bar and run the cmd command. We need to run three Firebase CLI commands to host our website. First, log in by executing Firebase login and allow Firebase to collect usage data. It will open up a browser. Sign into the Google account with the Firebase project and allow Firebase CLI to modify your data. Go back to the command prompt and initialize Firebase. Execute Firebase init. Type Y if you're ready. Keep pressing the down arrow key until you reach hosting and press the space bar to select it. When hosting is selected, press the enter key on your keyboard. Since we have already created a project, select the Use an Existing Project option and press Enter. Select the project and press Enter again. For the public directory, we need to put the exact name for the folder inside the disk folder earlier. If we go back to the disk folder, there's a folder inside. We'll use that name.
Type Y to configure a single page app. Type N for GitHub. Type N to not overwrite our index.html file. The last thing we need to do is to deploy it to Firebase. Execute Firebase deploy and use the only hosting flag. If you see deploy complete, it means that your project is now live and everyone can access it. Go back to the Firebase console. Under the build tab, select hosting. And here we can see the two domains that we were provided. If we click on item one, it'll bring us to our website. That's all for hosting your Angular project for free. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like share and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.